Hey there, Elwood again with the Country Underground. Still reporting from the Urban Country Music Festival, Yasmin catches up with Tanya Self, an interesting solo artist making her way back into the country music scene with her trans-Pacific album, Random Truth. Check it out. Welcome back. I'm here with... Tanya Self. Tanya Self. I'm here with Yasmin. Yes, I'm Yasmin. Hello. How are you going today? I'm really good, Tony. How are yeah. you? I'm and fabulous. How are you? I heard that you, um, you know, you played this morning and you woke up people. We did. Yes, it was chilly. It's the chilliest morning I think they've had in a long time. Yeah. And we did the secret session. The secret Over session. In the camping arena. Mm-hmm. We did that. And there were people in their pyjamas, in their onesies. But dancing it, and rocking it out. <laughs> oh, totally. It was cool. It was very, very cool. So uh, we did that. And uh, I think they'll have it every year now. It was so much fun. Mm. They had their coffee and their hay bales and uh, their blocks of wood <laughs> to, sit, to sit on. All we needed the, the bot was the bonfire and we would have been right. So you didn't have any complaints at all? Like someone was trying to sleep in, they yell out, sure, sure. Oh. But I think you're a fabulous singer anyway. I haven't, he- I haven't heard you yet, but um, I think you look like a good singer, so that hopefully I won't complain. <laughs> Thanks, Rudy. <Sarita. laughs> new album's out. so that's New album's out, yes. And let's talk about the new album. I have two copies here. Look at this pretty lady, Tanya oh, Self. Exactly. Now, the album is called Random Truth. It is. Indeed. So, how did that come about? Like, Random Truth. Well, is that uh, one of your songs? or? Uh, no, it's not one of the songs. It's a, just a really cool turn that I have, you know, young children and everything's just random. You know, it's just so random, mummy. Mummy, it's random. And we thought, <laughs> it's just randomly talking to me. <laughs> so we, that is um, cool. It, they thought so too. So, I said, how do you like this? And they said, yeah, cool, mum. Yeah, very cool. So, But anyway, we were just gathered a whole lot of songs together together that um that I wanted to talk about the stories and things that I care about and and on there is some is some pretty cool things that yeah. um random truth seems to encompass the lot yeah. and it's 14 tracks it's uh, 14 tracks of uh, of country music it's all country okay. it's all country and and I think that it it's the breadth of the sound of country music mm-hmm. uh today so yeah hmm. well what would what type of country would you describe yourself as there's a little bit of everything on there and so that's what we're we're saying is that it all belongs together it all comes under the beautiful banner of country music and yeah. uh, so there's a little bit of bluegrassy and uh, in yeah. fly me home and there's a bit of country rock and there's some a little bit of country pop and yeah so there's just there's some influences across the board we had it um produced in nashville to start with so the beds are all done by mike flanders my buddy mike flanders and then we worked with rob mckay at pacific international music and we did the vocals there. But he also added some beautiful um, baritone guitar in the new single that we released, which was called The Jacaranda. So that's gone to radio and that's doing really well. I'm, I feel so blessed that um, it's been picked up mm-hmm. so quickly already um, because it's been a long time. It's been 10 years. I've been raising three beautiful children <laughs> in the time since I stopped singing and then started again. So. Um, I've been busy, I suppose. And so you've been to Nashville. So tell I us about. No, no, I didn't. Oh, you haven't. No, no, oh, no, no, no. sorry about I'm that. Going there with you. Where, oh, where going okay. To- we're going to do some songs <laughs> together. Sounds good. <laughs> Well, I didn't need to. It was a whole new world. I didn't yeah. need to go to Nashville to, to rec- because we did the vocals here in, in no, Australia. Really? I didn't even know that was possible. I, like you could exactly my thinking. Wow. So it's pretty up to date, isn't it? Very oh, modern. Yeah. There's a thing called file share. <laughs> but anyway, so the beds were all the beds and that's, you know, your, your drums and bass, guitars and, and, uh, and especially acoustic guitars were all laid down over there. And then we added some more colour over here with different instrumentation. And then we mixed it with Jace Millhouse who uh, at Organic Audio in Brisbane and then we sent it back over there to be Nashville to uh, be mastered in Nashville and then we brought it back over here to um, to be manufactured so it's been quite the trans-specific. So this album is worth a lot then it's been around the world pretty much. Oh sweetie it's traveled further than I have. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> so um, who's your favorite uh, country icon like one of your favorite out of everyone, who's your favourite country singer? Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness! <laughs> There's so many. That's pretty. That's a pretty hard. To... Well, give us a top three. A top three, right? On. Okay, I love Reba McIntyre. Uh, I grew up on Linda Ronstadt and Dolly Parton, and that's used up my three. But I could list so many. I could list. Yeah. I could. I could really list so many. I like uh, a lot of male voices as well. So, um, yeah, it's it. 
my my interest in music was way outside country as well because I listened to my parents' record collections and what was ever on the radio and that's probably influenced my writing. I, maybe. I don't tend to immerse myself in, in other people's music too much yeah. because um, I guess you might lose the edge of what makes you you. So. Mm. Well, Country Underground has a saying and we say, whatever is played in the country is country. Do you, what do you think of that? Do you reckon that's right? Or? Whatever is played in the country is country? Yeah. Mm, I think that uh, in country towns that they like a variety of music. But I think it would be a mistake to think that uh, people in country towns only like country music or only like rock music. I think probably outside of your metro regions that they're far better at saying, I just love good music and that could be anything. And I think that that's uh, what we're standing up and saying, or oh, I agree with that. If you, were, if you were to say if it's played in the country, then it is country. I would say if it's played in the country, that would make it good, good music. <laughs> not necessarily pigeonholing it to one one thing or the other. Let's just let's just say um, uh, we like a little bit of everything, and uh, and that that's okay. Let's you know try to stop finding reasons to divide us, which is what we do as soon as we segregate everything into different genres. Let's just say if it's good, then let's together and give the people some good music. Yeah, great. And have you always been in the country scene? Yeah, yeah, always. So um, when I would play at the Gundy Pub, <laughs> the guy who played the Gundy Pub and Gundyre and Thebine and, and all the other pubs around my hometown, which is Maribyrnong. Sounds like us, but around yeah. Gympie. That's, well, that's right. I grew up in Maribyrnong, so uh, yeah, Ooh, there you go. Nice. <laughs> that's right, I can see you're just discovering that. Um, and my husband's a Bundy boy. I married a Bundy boy, so yeah, it's nice to go home, that's for sure. But um, I think that uh, though it, those those pubs or those venues that we played in, you were you know chewed up and spat out if you didn't play what they wanted you to play. So sometimes they'd want you to play the Gambler three times in the night, and sometimes they'd want you to play you know Summer of '69. So it you played what the audience wanted you to hear, and the majority of it was country, yeah. but it'd be interspersed with whatever else was sort of cool at the time. Okay. Hmm. Well, do you remember your first gig, like where it was at and how old you were? Yeah, yeah, I do. My uh, very first <laughs> show, if you want to call it that, was actually on television. So I went on, yeah, so I went on to uh, Sunshine Television's New Faces and I was nine. <laughs> and I won. Nine years <laughs> and you won. And won. Oh, congratulations for that for a few oh, years ago. <laughs> Anyway, so that's really what uh, I think I was very little when I knew I wanted to sing. Uh, my preschool teacher noticed I wanted to sing. There isn't a primary school teacher that I had that didn't say, you know, at the end of the year, remember me when you're famous kind of thing. So because I would I, I would sing instead of show and tell, I would do that sort of thing. Um, I was always very nervous, very shy, very shy kid, except on stage. I've grown out of that a little bit. But... Um, yeah, it's, it, it was, it's been in the blood since forever. So because of that win in my hometown, people, you know, knew the little, that little girl. We want to get that little girl to do this yeah. or do that and be things like the carols by candlelight or the spring festival, the stuff in the town hall, fashion parades. I'd be the guest artist. So that's where it started. And, and uh, then I had a band in my local area called the Blue Healer Band and they asked me to do some spots with them. So that was pretty cool because um, James Bundell and Troy Casadale were sort of knocking, out, knocking around with them at that time and, and they played some pretty big gigs and, and so uh, we did a few really cool things like we were the support act <laughs> to kids in the kitchen. <laughs> and, um, Sounds fun. <laughs> well, it was at the Maribyrnong Showground, so, um, you know, it was, it was a really cool gig. It was a big stage. It was my first taste of, um, you know, massive speakers and the whole production thing and Molly Meldrum was, yeah. was the compare. So that's where I really got a taste for um, a big stage venue and, and I was hooked. Yeah. And that, that was it. So I headed off to Tamworth quite a number of years later because I was only a kid, still a kid and a teenager at the time when I did that. And um, I was in my early 20s. We moved to Brisbane and I then headed off to Tamworth because Tamworth was where, you know, yeah. country music, that's where it's all, that's where it's at. That's yeah. if you want to be a country music artist, then you need to be in Tamworth. That's yeah. what I thought and that's certainly that's still the case. So I entered Star Maker and uh, headed on down there and I won. So. That is awesome. I probably like <laughs> versed you. I don't know. <laughs> no, 
<laughs> it's probably a bit long ago. Were you in nappies? <laughs> oh yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. Probably I probably was in nappies. No, <laughs> probably. <laughs> but have you got any more goals at all? Um, like oh, I don't know, to win a few golden guitars or something. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've got one. Yes, I'd like to be able to move it across a few more shelf <laughs> a little bit, and uh, you know, just to balance up the you know <laughs> the shelf a little. That'd be nice. Um, but my biggest goal is is the, with this album at the moment is to is just to share music again. I will do this till the day I die. Now. And, and I've always known that I would come back to sing again. We just didn't know when that would be. Your focus shifts as soon as you want to be a mum. And, and initially my eldest daughter would tour with me. She would come around to all the different shows and on, sit on my lap on the plane. And I remember the bus ride, bus ride to Catherine, the country, the Catherine Country Music Festival with her and I was still breastfeeding her. And it, was, it was quite hard going on some level, but, um, you know, she, it, it was lovely to have her there. I was just so driven and, and so it was so important to me to have mm-hmm. her with me at all times. Yeah. But... Um, and that became harder to do when she got a bit older and, uh, you know, it, you just have this sort of bone-deep desire to want to, to want to stay put for a while. And yeah. so we, uh, my husband and I, renovated a couple of houses and had a few more children and <laughs> we'd, uh, yeah, we just had a whole other life there for a little while and, and I'd known nothing else but that this kind of, you know, performance life mm-hmm. Until then, so it was nice to stop and and do that and make sure that I got the other things that are important in my life secure and safe and 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 well grounded and that's what we've done and and then I gave a song to Legacy. I wrote a song for my for my neighbour, a song called Fixing Things and and it's because her husband he passed away and she was a Legacy recipient and they their little son is one of my son's best friends so and he would come to play a lot so the song's all about him and and the relationship and the importance of grandparents as obviously in their family and for many families how important it is to have grandparents around so I gave them that song and thinking well you know I love to sing and and here it is it's it's yours and um to reconnect with country music radio and people again was the bit that said, okay, you're ready. <laughs> it's time to come back. It's time to, you know, get your stuff together and uh, and, and do, what, do what you love. It's time to have a career again. And all my children are in school now. So um, there is a little bit more time on my sleeve. <laughs> up, up my sleeve, I should say. <laughs> On my hands, up my sleeve. Somewhere exactly. somewhere there anyway, up here. <laughs> well, have you got any more hobbies? You sound like a fabulous mum, by the hobbies? way. No. No. <laughs> Not hobbies, oh, hobbies. Oh, okay. Like when your kids are at school, like what else do you like to do apart from singing and performing? Okay. I, uh, I, uh, <laughs> I like to play sport. I do, I, you know, have always been quite quite sporty but that got pushed to the side so these days I I walk really really fast <laughs> with a few girlfriends um, and I'm very involved with the kids school with my children's my children's school so um, that we've had to just settle that down a little bit now that I'm doing this because the the touring I'm coming to your town very soon <laughs> I can promise you that uh, we will get this album to the people yeah come what may so, come, so come high water <laughs> sounds so good i'll probably come to one of your concerts oh but um cool. that'd be great but um so where do we get these awesome albums from okay any good country music retailer sanity have got it here on site today and they have been selling at least two no <laughs> two what <laughs> It's no, it's actually it's been good because I've had a pe- few people track me down as I've been walking around. Um, we we're on the jumping castle before Ooh, with the kids. Sounds fun. So, um, but they've been tracking me down. So, oh, can you sign it? I got your CD, which is not really lovely. Yeah. So tomorrow we've got the big performance, and uh, that's on the village stage here in the morning. Okay. And we'll so the village stage, yeah, village at ten thirty sharp and we will be sharing all the tracks off the album and really saying hey i'm back and thanks very much for coming and supporting me well welcome back to the industry <gasps> thank you sweetie That's it's so gonna cool. be another adventure isn't it <laughs> it is it is actually yes yeah, so come along for the ride <laughs> get on board or get out of the way <laughs> well thank you so much tanya oh, thank you and have so a much. really have a really good weekend yeah. here so it's an awesome festival you. yeah you too. Really cool. you too <laughs> we will you too Enjoy yeah it. thank Just you getting into it now I can yeah it yeah pretty much <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, you're very welcome. Thanks. See you later. Wow, what a great artist. Thanks heaps, Yazzie. And remember to comment or subscribe. Thanks for watching.